Hello and welcome to the Hockey News. I'm Stephen Nelson. and joining me today is senior writer Ryan Kennedy. All right, Ryan, Florida's finally got a GM. It's going to be Bill Zito, who's going to become a first-time NHL GM. For those who don't know about him, uh, can you give some of the background information? Yeah, so Bill Zito first came onto the scene as an agent um, uh, you know, with, uh, with Acme. Uh, Tuka Rask was a big client of his and uh, very well regarded in the industry. You know, I talked to another NHL exec today about him. He talked about how hardworking uh, Bill Zito is, what integrity he brings to the table. So, uh, you know, this, this is a guy that has a very good reputation around the league. Uh, he went from being an agent to going to Columbus, where he was assistant GM and then associate GM, uh, worked really well with Jarmo Kikalainen. He helped the then Cleveland Monsters, uh, or sorry, then Lake Erie Monsters, now Cleveland Monsters, uh, to a Calder Cup championship in the AHL. This was a franchise that was really good on the business side. Zito helped them really come up on the hockey side as well, culminating in that title. And... Like I said, he, he was with Columbus. This was a guy that his name had been rumored to get a GM job for a couple of years now. It, it really felt like he was poised to take on that bigger role. Now he has it in Florida. And you look at the Panthers. They haven't won a playoff series since 1996, and they have just really have struggled for a long time. They, they This was supposed to be the year they were going to have a bit more success. They got the goal they wanted. Their offense was definitely deep in a little bit. It wasn't just going to be relying on two guys, and the Panthers just did not live up to it. Now, to be fair, Islanders looked really good, so there's that. But I guess what are the next steps for Zito leading the Panthers? Because this is a franchise that really needs some success soon. Indeed, and – the one tough thing right now is goaltending let them down this year. Which was not supposed to be the case. Which was not supposed to be the case. Sergei Bobrovsky was signed to a massive contract, and that was supposed to be the answer. He was actually the problem. Uh, you cannot trade his contract. It's too much money. It's too many years. You can't even fob him off on Seattle uh, in the expansion draft. They're not going to want him. Um, so you, you basically need Bobrovsky to get back on his horse because, I mean, he is a Vezna Trophy winner. We, we know Zer Sergei Bobrovsky can be a top-shelf goalie. The key now is for him to get that game back, and that's really on Bobrovsky. As for Zito, you know, the Panthers, they have a nice young core, Barkov, Huberto, you know, you got Aaron Ekblad on the back end. You have some really nice prospects coming up, guys like Grigory Tenesenko, Owen Tippett. So there's talent there. The big challenge for Zito right now is going to be which free agents he decides to try and keep. You know, Mike Hoffman is an unrestricted free agent. Evgeny Dodonov is an unrestricted free agent. So is Eric Halla. Those are guys with varying salaries, but those are decisions that need to be made as to what direction Florida is going to go in. And, you know, I, the next month I think is going to be uh, pretty crucial as Zito figures out what he wants to do and, and maybe what moves he can or cannot make to improve this club in the short term. All right. Thank you very much, Ryan. Make sure to check out the hockeynews.com for our daily playoff coverage.